Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Wednesday. Um, I don't even know the date anymore because I've been off work. Uh, it's June 12th. So uh, today I am actually two months just about, well, eight weeks postpartum. So it's been a crazy, I guess, two months with a newborn and everything. Um, I wanted to just take the camera out and vlog today just because I feel like the time has just been passing so quickly and I haven't really caught many of the moments with baby Chase and I also wanted to give you guys an update on my post baby body and it's been really tough. I gained 30 pounds for this pregnancy it's my first pregnancy if you're new here and the first 20 came off like within i would say like a week or so like two weeks but the last 10 to 12 pounds has just been really really hard like no matter what i eat i'm just starting to work out again so i think that's going to help out but even if i've been trying to like eat healthy and stuff I can't seem to get rid of this weight. Not that I'm like in a super big hurry, but I just think that I will feel better mentally and physically if I get rid of these last few pounds. Also, my husband and I are going away for 4th of July weekend. We're going to Lake Charles and we're just going to have a really nice weekend, the two of us. Um, my mother-in-law is going to come and watch the baby, so I kind of have some motivation to get back in shape a, a bit better than I am now. And um, I also ordered a few swimsuits. I got, the, they're from Cupshe. I had ordered these swimsuits last year, and you can get them on Amazon, which is awesome. And so if they don't fit, you can return them. But they're really, really affordable, like anywhere between $25 and $35, $40. And my experience has been great. They've been really good quality. And now that I'm a mom, I'm definitely not looking for bikinis anymore. So I ordered a couple of one pieces and one high-waisted bottom with like a bikini top. So I'm going to show you guys. I'll try them on and I'll also give you an update on what my body looks like. I'm 129 pounds, I believe, right now. And before I had the baby, I was 117. So I was in really, really good shape. Uh, before I got pregnant, I took 30 days and did not drink any alcohol. I was working out like four to five times a week doing HIIT workouts and stuff and also just like eating really well. So slowly but surely I'm trying to go back to that schedule and routine but having a newborn has been really hard and I also think that just the fact that I haven't been sleeping uh the chase still gets up about two to three times every night to eat so he's only sleeping or he's only going about three to four hours between feeds so I'm only really getting like at the most four or five hours of sleep total, but it's interrupted every time he wakes up to eat. So I think that's another reason why it's harder to lose those last 10 pounds. Anyways, I just wanted to show you, it's so funny. The house has just become so filled with baby stuff. It's so, it's so crazy, like moving in with nothing. And then we've got his mom Roo here and this little bouncer and then his sensory gym over here with his toys. And then we have this little, this is an adorable little elephant, um, blanket thing. So we usually lay him on there and do tummy time, like on the couch or, uh, something and then his docketad is over here with a couple of stuffed animals he's he's taken over the house and it's just so sweet i love all of his stuff being everywhere <laughs> we've got the baby brazza here which we use every day to sanitize his bottles if you guys don't have one it's not necessary but i absolutely love it i 
literally use it every single morning. We put all the bottles in from the night before and then just sanitize everything so it's ready for the day. And we also have this little like the grass garden over here with lots of baby bottle things. So I think, I think I actually hear him waking up. So let's just go over really quick and see what he's doing. Bubba? <gasps> Hi, Bubba. Hi, honey. Hello. Hello, buddy. Are you waking up from your nap? Look at him. We have this, I, I don't know if you guys have heard of these, but it's the Zen Swaddle. It's called like the nested bean and there's, it's weighted. So, uh, here's the, this is weighted right here with little, I guess they're like little beads or something. And then these two sides are weighted as well. <gasps> Hello. Hey. Hi, honey. Are you stretching? Are you stretching? How you doing, Bubba? How are you? Did you have a good sleep? Look at how big he's gotten. I can't even. I, I can't remember the last vlog he was in, but he's, yeah, he's like going to be two months old this weekend on Sunday on Father's Day, which is really cool. And, oh, he's so happy. Are you so happy because you had a good nap? He's just gotten so big. He was 5.6 pounds when he was born, and I swear he's definitely 10 by now. Hi. Hi. Hey. Oh. You sweet boy. You sweet boy. You sweet boy. Yes. Yes, you are. Oh, I can't. I can't take how cute you are. My little feet. Look at his little feet. Oh. All right. I'm going to just get him up and change him, and he's probably hungry, so I will check back in a little while. Oh, before I go, I've been having, so he's been waking up a lot during the night, and he would hate, I was swaddling him with his arms out because he would sleep with like his arms up like this, so then I finally, I tried to swaddle him with his arms in. A few times and he screamed bloody murder like he hated it so then I and I tried that like during the night one time and so he just really hated it so what I've been doing is swaddling him with his arms in during the day when he's like drowsy to put him down for a nap and he seems to be taking to it much better now and he's also I think he's sleeping a little bit better because with his arms out he was waking himself up in the middle of the night so he would like flail and then like jerk himself asleep and start I jerk himself awake and then start like crying because he wakes up and whatever and then I would have to like rock him and put him down and then he thinks he's hungry but he's not so let me know if you guys have had a similar experience oh making cute noises but I finally have been able to swaddle him in that zen sleep sack thing and with his arms down and he seems to be doing much better he's gotten he's going like he he actually went five hours between feeds a couple nights ago and then he was going four hours between feeds recently and then last night it was back to three hours between so changes every night and um, but I think that putting his arms down he's actually falling into a deeper sleep because he wakes up he's like smiley and happy and seems like more rested so let me know what your experience is I'm not trying to like sleep train him yet because he's I think he's still too young and he still wakes up to eat every few hours but uh, I think that the the swaddling with his arms down helps a lot Oh, oh, what are you saying? What are you saying? Hi, hi, hi. All right.
Also guys, where do you put your newborns when they nap during the day? I had been putting Chase in the docketot on the couch in the living room while I just like watch TV and stuff. And then I read somewhere that it's not good for them to be listening to the TV all day. So I started to put him in his crib during the day. I think um, I tried to put him in the bassinet, which is in our room right now. That's where he sleeps at night. But every time I would do that, he would get he, he would just get up right away and like start crying. So I started putting him down in the crib like after he would, um, I would feed him and then he would start to get a little drowsy. Then I would just swaddle him and put him in the crib. And he seems to be liking that so far. So, but let me know what you guys do. I, I'm not really sure what the right answer is and I guess every baby is different, but let me know in the comments where your baby sleeps uh, throughout the day when they're like two months old. Here's our big boy. Here he is just in the mamaroo. Here's a better look at how big he is. He used to be so tiny when he first got home that his little feet didn't even come over this insert here. And now he's so long. I'm so curious. He's got his two month appointment tomorrow actually with the pediatrician and he gets his shot so that's gonna be really sad but he's a happy guy yeah he's like so alert these days he used to lay in this thing and not even notice these little this little mobile and now he like stares at these and he loves it right Chase? Right, buddy? Look at you. His eyes are still blue also. I don't know when they're supposed to change, but can't wait to see what color eyes you have. You happy? Are you happy? Okay, I'm gonna feed him and then I will show you the swimsuits that I bought. Okay guys, so all of my swimsuits from Cupshe just came in. This is not sponsored or anything like that. Uh, like I said, I just like the brand. It's super affordable. It's on Amazon. So if it doesn't fit, you can easily just send it back. And if you need it and you have Prime, you can get it in like two days. So I ordered four of them and I'll show you what they look like right now. We got Chase just hanging out in the docketa for now on the bed. So they all come in these cute little like Ziploc type bags. They just like zip and it's really cute. But so I ordered this one. It's kind of interesting. It like crisscrosses up at the top and then ties in the back and it's got this little cutout but it's high waisted. Are you talking to us? Hi buddy. You want to try on a swimsuit? <laughs> And then this one, I don't know, is I, I usually don't buy like really brightly colored clothes or swimsuits or anything, but this one just looked really cute on the model and it's got these like little ruffles. It just looked really flattering and it has vertical stripes. So picked up that one. This is the one that's like a bikini, but it's a high waisted bikini type thing and I don't know how this top is gonna fit because it doesn't actually have a clasp in the back it's all just elastic so not sure about that but it looked it looked cute and then this is the final one I feel like I'm gonna really like this and it's got this like zip and then it's open in the back so before I try them on I'll just show you what I kind of look like my two month postpartum bod. So this is, I'm just wearing yoga pants uh, and a t-shirt right now. But, so here is my stomach. This is from the side. I still have a bit of like a pooch here. So I just like, rolled down the pants there. These are a small, I wore these before I ever got pregnant. So I still fit into them. They're like really stretchy and they don't have like any tight elastics at the top. So this is what it's looking like from the side. Not, 
I mean, I'm 129 pounds right now or like 128. So I'm still like pretty far off from my pre-baby weight. But I feel like my swelling and like from my C-section, my stomach has definitely gone down so far now that I'm two months out. And I have been doing some workouts. I was... I was cleared to work out at six weeks after my C-section, so I'm doing HIIT workouts like I used to, and I'm throwing in some strength. My goal is to do three workouts per week, and hopefully I start to get back to normal. I am feeling a lot more tight than I was in the last, so I've been, oh my gosh, I have to show you. He's just like passed out. Oh my gosh, he's such a little angel. I can't. Ah, so cute. So I have been doing HIIT workouts and I found that putting that extra cardio and the high intensity in there, I feel like it's really helping. It'll help burn a lot of calories a lot faster than if I were to like take a walk or a run or go on the elliptical or something. So I'm going to continue that and see what happened. So let me just jump right into this little swimsuit haul right now. Okay guys, so here's the first suit. I don't know how I feel about this one. So it was actually kind of hard to put on. So the front Okay, the front piece is crossed, so you actually like have to pull one side over the other and then tie them in the back. So, I don't know if this is easier for you to see, but this is what the butt and the back look like. Uh, so it ties in the back, it also has a clasp, and it has these uh, adjustable straps. So, I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. There was a lot of, it was a lot of work to put on. And honestly, uh, there's not a lot of support in the boob area. But it is kind of cute. I don't know, I feel like I look large here. So I don't know if I will be keeping this one. But here it is. Okay. Okay. I love this bathing suit. This one is just, I don't know. It's really, really comfortable. It kind of feels like a corset type. It's like tight here, and I don't know if that's because I ordered a small. So all of the bathing suits I got in a small, and I'm 5'2 for reference, so I really like this. It is nice and snug here, so it feels like it's kind of holding in all my fat and the ruffles are really cute on the sides here and here and then they like go towards the butt and then the top I love how it's got this little tie here and then there's like a little bit of an opening but it's not revealing at all and it has adjustable straps so this is definitely a yes I'm surprised that I like it because it is such a bold bathing suit with the colors and it's extremely bright, but I love it and I definitely think I'm going to be getting it and using it when we go to Lake Charles. Sorry, this is like so bootleg how I'm doing this, but yeah, this is the back. So nothing really crazy happening here, but... Yeah. Okay, here's the two piece that I got. And honestly, I love the bottoms on this. I don't know if you can tell, but there's like kind of like some ruching here. So if you have a little bit of a pooch like I still do, it'll cover that. The top, I feel like it kind of looks cute, but it's not like... It doesn't fit the best so there's like on the side if you can see there's some extra room here so I don't know I mean on both sides like with the boob there's like just some extra room and it's not very supportive whatsoever 
but it is kind of cute. I feel like maybe if I got one of those, and that's because it has elastic on the back. There's no clasp or anything like that. Here it is from the back. It's a little bit cheeky too, so I don't know. Not really sure. You guys, I don't know. This is real life. This is real life what my bod looks like two months after having a baby and I don't know. It's cute, I guess. Can you see the back? The back, I, I don't know. It doesn't look great from the back, to be honest. I don't really love it. But from the front, I feel like it's really, I feel like it's kind of cute and it's kind of flattering. And like I said, I ordered a small. That's what I would have ordered pre-baby. But I feel like I'll be able to fit into this once I like get back down to my normal size. So I think overall, I do like this one. It has adjustable straps here. So you can always do that. And then maybe I can get one of those things to like clasp it in the back so that it's not so loose up here, but yeah. Number three. Okay, here's the final one, and I think I really like this a lot. It's just super cute. It took a while to get on. These bathing suits, these one pieces, some of them are very complex. But anyway, so here it is. I like that it, I just feel like this one really just holds me in in all the right places. So, I love the top. It's a little bit tight up here, so if you have uh, a bigger chest, I don't know if this would work for you, but I just love how it's got the vertical stripes and then this piece ties back here, and I like it because it kind of like cinches in your waist, and it has these little cute cutouts on either side because of that. And then I really love the print at the bottom. This is like a green, a green striped color. I don't know if you can tell, but it's green. And I don't know, it's not, I feel like it's a little cheeky in the back and it's a little bit tight on me right now just because, you know, I ordered a small and 10 pounds lighter would make a huge difference, but Overall, I think it's pretty cute. Let me see if I can show you guys from the back what it looks like. I'm sorry that this is so like, yeah, so you can like see my like rolls here, which I'm trying, gonna try to hopefully get rid of by the time we go to Lake Charles, but it's a little cheeky back there. But, I don't know, overall, really cute. Oh my god, I have to show you his arms. His arms just one up. Like, how is he sleeping like this? He, he always has his arms up, but he'll like, go all the way, reaching for the stars while he sleeps. Oh, he's so sweet. Yeah. Alright, so that's that. So those are all the suits that I bought. I think I'm actually gonna keep this one and definitely this one. I really loved this. And I think I'm gonna return this one. I haven't decided and I might actually keep this, try to figure out a way to secure the top somehow so that it's not so big on either side. Anyways, I hope that you guys like this. Uh, like I said, you know, I'm not in the best shape right now. I just started to work out a couple weeks ago. So hopefully in about three weeks over 4th of July, I'll be a little bit more tighter and leaner and feel a little bit better when I wear these swimsuits when we go to Lake Charles. And that's that. So this is basically what I look like. And you know, there's definitely some problem areas still and work that I have to do to lose that last few pounds, but I'm, you know, not in a huge rush, but having a goal, some place that I need to be where I want to look good in a swimsuit is definitely going to push me to make sure that I work out consistently and eat better. 
and it'll be just much better for me mentally because I love working out and being healthy. It'll help me get back on track and that'll make me a better mom and better wife. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. I will link all the swimsuits in the description box below. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd love for you to come along this journey with me as a new mom. And and I will talk to you in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.